wonderful, wonderful brethren. My Illuminati ticker is going off again. Isn't this really strange, brethren? I um, Since I've moved and everything, I've had to readjust my uh, need for vehicles. My, my vehicle need has altered considerably. And so I'm going to be selling cars. I've been looking at cars and prices of cars and, and all this kind of stuff. And I've noticed something. Everybody was talking about it as I'm an Uber driver, listening to my riders talking about cars too. And now, oh my goodness, the used cars are so expensive. Sometimes it's better just to buy a new. And I was looking at an electric, the EV v uh, options. And it was scary to know that like you could get a 20, 222 or 21 or whatever. And uh, it would cost maybe ten to $20,000 less to buy brand new than to buy the used. And I was like, that is really, really strange. It kind of reminds me of those little little games that they play with, uh, like when I went to uh, Best Buy. They have ways of kind of manipulating you. There's, there's another algorithm chapter, I guess you could call it. But it's like, they, they, the dude told me, he says, these uh, 60 whatever gig cards... I think that's what, no, 32 or 60, 64 or whatever. And uh, he said, there's, there's some over here that's $70 and some over here that is uh, $35. And they have them priced different and they're packaged different. And he says, these cards are absolutely identical. There's nothing different about these cards whatsoever other than the stickers on them. And then the little cardboard and plastic around them. It's a little different. But all we do is we put this prices like this so people think, oh, this is a good deal. I can take these and someone else can have them, the expensive ones. And then next week they switch them around and now the other one goes down faster. And they just keep doing that until it goes down faster. I'm like, ding. <laughs> the light went on. That ding went on. The Illuminati ding went on. And I say, like, there you go. The system is trying to get you to buy new. Isn't that amazing? Why? Because it's all new chips. There's something in, uh, anyway, we're all worried about chips coming into our bodies, which is definitely something to be worried about. But the, the, the tracking on vehicles has already been significant as it is. But what happens when you get tracking in your, um, in the new chips? What is, what's, what's, what, what is in those new chips? Why is it that they're pushing us to that direction? Why is it like you can get paid more to stay home instead of work? <laughs> I've heard people say that. It's like, dude, I could make the same money not working and he's got an uber home and back and stuff i mean it's like they, they work so hard just to stay working and they make the same money they could he, he literally have more money in his bank staying home than going to, going to his job to, to cook and such and now it's like ladies and gentlemen let's make it a little cheaper for you it's cheaper to buy a brand new vehicle than it is to buy a used vehicle okay the car that i'm selling is a scion iq i bought it in 2012 brand new it was nineteen thousand dollars total because toyota always adds all this extra whatever so that's probably like two thousand dollars more than it should have been but then then the actual sticker price i think which is like 16 nine or something like that so maybe seventeen thousand dollars if you look it up right now it's literally between sixteen to twenty thousand dollars for a ten-year-old vehicle. I I couldn't I can't even sell my own car for six thousand dollars. But I've looked online; it's different places, and it's it's not cheap. Carvana, who's buying it from me, is giving me seventy-three forty-five, and they're going to sell them probably for between twelve to fourteen something thousand dollars. Because I've seen them; they already have two of them, exactly the same as mine, and the miles are worse, and um, yet they're selling them for more than they're they're selling it for about double what i'm getting for it meaning used cars brethren is really high why is that why is the easy thing that's going on it's so much easier to sell your car with carvana and to buy with carvana and they have a lot of high prices on there too and i've heard some things about them that's a that's another enchilada you can go look up the the integrity of that company if you want to um, but anyways, they, it's, they make it so easy. And so people are always looking for the path of least resistance. And then they find out themselves dealing with these guys and getting a mental understanding that's going to kind of push you to where the good deals are at and get the same thing for a good deal. And ultimately, I see something's up here. I don't know exactly what's in these chips of the new vehicles. Oh, we're, we're having a chips shortage right now. So like the rental car place, I, I talked to a, one of my riders, he works for one of the major rental vehicle places. He says, now because of the shortage of chips, it's harder to buy new vehicles. So we can't just buy a bunch and then rent them out. And then, you know, after 26,000 miles is generally, but now generally when they, they go ahead and sell them, they certify them and they sell them, and then the, after that, now it's about 46,000. I'm guessing, I think that's what he said. It was 46,000 miles now because they have to stretch it out longer because they just can't, 
they don't have, there's not enough vehicles to buy anymore for the rental companies. So really, really interesting thoughts, brethren. Just wanted to share the love and kind of questioning, does anybody know anything about these new chips in cars or are they new or are they just, or are they, or is there some truth in the mainstream for a change? I don't know. It just seems really strange. Like, why are they pushing us to get new stuff? What's in the new stuff? We've my va my van is 2011, and it tells you that it's it's trackable by authorities. And that's an old vehicle. What what's what's more trackable than that now? What is in these new chips? Or are they new? And what's the difference? Have a great day, brethren, and God bless.